The Maryland Army National Guard partnered with Baltimore County Police and Fire Departments for the Maryland Helicopter Aquatic Rescue Team, or HART training, May 8th and 9th at Essex Sky Park, Maryland. We've been able to leverage the capability of everybody that's involved today for disaster response. And uh, typically helicopters aren't used very frequently, but when they are, it has to be rehearsed and we have to understand what the capabilities are. A lot of this came from Hurricane Katrina. A lot of SOPs, a lot of training weren't conducted prior to, and there's a lot of lessons learned, and right now we're just trying to keep up with what we need to should occasion arise. We generally train every 90 days as our recurrency. It's been a partnership we've been exercising for the past five years, and the nice part of this is that the capability changes with the aircraft. So utilizing our county police, which is a smaller aircraft, is a day-to-day -day operation for us. But when we have these very large disaster events, we need a larger platform, and that's where we've been able to partner with the Maryland Army National Guard. We gain a relationship, also helps us develop tactics, procedures, SOPs, so we can improve on it and do it safer. Every time we do this, and I call it a production, it becomes easier and easier. So even though we struggle with it at times through training, when we have the real disaster, it's going to pay dividends because we know what to expect and we've rehearsed it. For the Maryland National Guard, I'm Army Sergeant Aimee Fujikawa.